Have you read about Igor Stravinsky's The Rite of Spring and how he composed music with totally unexpected sounds? Let's hear what conductor Emile Decou has to say about The Rite of Spring. It's hard to find another piece of music or art as thrilling or as unusual as Stravinsky's The Rite of Spring. Some pieces are written and they sound very beautiful. Some pieces of music sound very jarring or very modern and sometimes kind of noisy or ugly. Stravinsky's Rite of Spring was found not to be very beautiful, but very exciting. And even today, nearly a hundred years after it was written, it still has a modern sound to it. The Rite of Spring was premiered in Paris before a very elegant audience in a very beautiful hall. The people in Paris who came to the premiere of the Rite of Spring were expecting an elegant entertainment, and they did something quite unexpected that evening when they first heard Stravinsky's The Rite of Spring is they started to scream. Some people started to boo and shout and throw things at the stage because they found the music so horrible. There was such a riot in the concert hall that the dancers couldn't hear the music. So the choreographer had to stand from the side of the stage while he screamed the counts of the dancers on stage so the performance would go on. The manager had to flash the lights on and off trying to get the audience to be quiet because it was breaking into a horrible riot. The Rite of Spring tells the story of ancient tribes of people from history's distant past and how they celebrated rituals to honor the coming of spring. Stravinsky composed music to capture this story and to transport listeners back to ancient times. To do this, Stravinsky used the instruments of the orchestra in unusual ways. For example, he took a low-sounding instrument and made it sound quite high. The Rite of Spring begins with a solo, one instrument playing alone. Stravinsky chose the bassoon. The bassoon is normally one of the lowest sounding instruments of the orchestra. Listen to the bassoon playing its usual range of very low tones. <laughs> Now, listen to the bassoon playing the opening notes of the Rite of Spring. This is exactly the impression that Stravinsky wanted to create. He wanted to strain the sound of the bassoon to make the music feel unfamiliar and ancient. Now, let's listen to Stravinsky's opening bassoon solo one more time. The bassoonist, after years of practice, plays that extended high range so it sounds beautiful. As you listen, remember that Stravinsky wanted listeners to imagine the sounds of ancient voices calling from the distant past. The Rite of Spring surprised audiences with its unexpected bursts of sound and forceful rhythms. Stravinsky composed these brief bursts of music, or musical fragments, and combined them in ways that make the music exciting and full of energy. In this part of Listening Activity 2, you'll learn to listen for two musical fragments. First, a rhythmic fragment, and second, a melodic fragment. First, let's listen to the rhythmic fragment. It's forceful and repeated. Listen to the pounding, alternating rhythm. 
Let's listen to this rhythmic fragment again. This time, as you listen, beat your fists against your thighs, alternating left and right fists. To match the alternating rhythm you hear in the music. Here's another example of the alternating rhythms. This time it's played by the timpani, a large drum. As you listen, beat your fists again to match the rhythm. Now here's something a bit more challenging. You'll listen to a longer musical excerpt that includes both of the rhythmic fragments you just heard, but with other sounds. You'll have to focus to hear when these rhythms are played. And each time you hear them, beat your fists against your thighs. Were you able to recognize these rhythms? Now, let's listen to a melodic fragment, an extremely quick phrase of musical tones. Listen for the shrill sound of the woodwinds playing rapid rising notes, followed by three quick falling notes. This melodic fragment is bursting with energy. Listen again to this bursting melodic fragment. This time, Lift your hands and stretch out your fingers the moment you hear it. Now listen to a longer excerpt. You'll hear the fragment played three times. Each time you hear it, lift your hands and stretch out your fingers. Here's something a bit more challenging. In this even longer excerpt, you'll hear the melodic fragment played many times. But you will hear other sounds, too. Listen for this fragment. And each time you hear it, lift your hands and stretch out your fingers. Were you able to recognize and do the movements with this melodic fragment? This time, you'll listen for the rhythmic fragments and the melodic fragment. It won't be that easy because the fragments won't be isolated. You'll hear them along with other sounds. When you hear this rhythmic fragment or this rhythmic fragment, you'll use the fist-pounding gesture. When you hear the melodic fragment, you'll use the open finger gesture. Focus and listen for the two fragments you practiced. Ready to listen and move? How did you do? Were you able to recognize each fragment? Many say that the Rite of Spring is one of the most thrilling compositions ever created for symphony orchestra. Bring your listening skills to the concert. The music goes by very quickly, and you won't want to miss a single note.